Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wolves reporter, Mr. Tim Spears. Tim, Wolves against Reading. Big game, big game. Mm. Front three we're going to talk about today. Are we? Yeah, we are. We oh, thought... well, we, we should have told me before we started. Okay, well, you know, you just let's add lib then. Uh, Jota, obviously he's going to be back. Surely he's going to be back. Props. But, but who would you play with him? Who would be, who would be your front three? If you got to choose, if you're Nuno now, I'm giving you Nuno. Oh, I Give wish. You Nuno. I wish. You wish with his pay packet. <laughs> <laughs> who, are you, who are you picking against Reading? I would pick... Who's your go-to, yeah? Cavalier is a must start. Surely. Starts every week now. Wolves is best player at the moment, I think. Mm. For 70 minutes every week. Laying on the... Uh, that's where he got a 90 last week. Oh. Laying on the... Were you not there? Mm, maybe. Laying on the assists. few goals here and there. He really took the game off scruff of the neck at Fulham. He didn't mm. have any help around him. He starts anyway. Mm. Jota, yeah. Jota's back in. Phenomenal player. We know what we've seen what we've done all season long. Who's your third man? For me, it's Benicophobia. I've got mm. to say. I've uh, been saying for a couple of weeks now that Wolves should start him. A couple of stats for you. Hit me. Benicophobia hasn't scored in 17 games. It's not a, not a great first start. You, uh, you surprised me there. Okay. Le- Leo Bonatini not scored for 14 games. Okay. They are, bar Rafa Mir, who's getting nowhere near 31 it. 31 total. Between nice them. maths from you. Do you, do you, do you see? A star. A star. A star. Right. Very good, very good. Doesn't show at all, but very good. That's why I've ended up here. So, um, Rafa Mir, the third striker that we don't really talk about because he's not playing at the moment. Mm. Uh, but otherwise, those are Wolves' two strikers. Yes. And they've not scored for a combined 31 appearances. So, confidence is going to be low there. But of the two, I don't know. Well, it's, it's either a phobia or Costa, isn't it? Probably. That's mm. what we're talking for Saturday, I think. Phobia or Costa, mm, probably. I don't, I, don't, I don't think Bonatini will play after his performance at Fulham the other day. So, I think we're talking a phobia or Costa. Anonymous. For me, I would say a phobia gets the nod. He's hungry. He's mm. motivated. He wants this. This is his big audition. He's back at Wolves. He still hasn't started a game yet. I think he's looked good for, certainly for three or four of the five substitute appearances he's made. Um, got in positions. Got in good positions. Had a, had a couple of really good chances. You look at the run he makes off the last man at Fulham away for that big chance five minutes from the end which he kind of delayed a little bit and then played it to Jota who balloons it over the bar mm. but anyway he's in the right positions that's the most important thing yeah. he's showing a good attitude on the field and showing a willing and a desire and a hunger like I said this is his audition and for me Wolves are in a good uh, it could be in a good position and could really benefit from what a mm. phobia could bring to the team mm. and I would definitely start him on Saturday. I mean, been dangling that carrot for such a long time if, it, if he's back on the bench again on Saturday night oh, he must be gutted. It's the it's best chance great. he's got of starting a game because Costa was poor at Fulham, Bonatini was anonymous, as you say, at Fulham. So he's and uh, Phobia's the one who's, like I said, getting into these good positions. So this is the best opportunity mm. he's had on the face of it to be brought into the team. Mm. And Wolves' performance was, was limp and lifeless at Fulham. So Nuno's got the licence to make changes. And for me, I, I would I would bring him in. You know, like I said, he's um, he's got the quality. Yeah. We've seen it at Wolves before. And I know he hasn't had a great couple of years at Bournemouth, but that's what he's here for. He's still a young player. He's trying to, trying to get back to his old self. And um, he needs to start games to do that. It's, it's unfair to judge him from the substitute appearances. Mm. We saw that with Helder Costa before Christmas, not really making a huge amount of interact from the bench. Suddenly Nuno shows that faith in him. And mm. now we have seen the old, the old Helder Costa a bit more recently. So maybe they can have the same with Benicophobi and he can kind of, he can bring them back up to a level that, that we want to see for the rest of the season. But if, if Nuno wants to go back to his tried and tested, needs three points, yeah. would, could, he, could he go back to his Portuguese front three? He may he well do that, you know, you, you've put me in the hot seat there and that's yeah, yeah. my opinion, but Nuno's is, is different mm. and yes, he may go back to Jota Costa Cavalero, as we saw against Sheffield United a few weeks ago, they were phenomenal, completely torn to pieces, interchanging, beautiful link-up play, looked like they could score quite a few goals, so he took Jota out the firing line last weekend, I think he'll come back into the team and yeah, I would predict that that's the front three he would go with, Jota Costa Cavalero. But for me, I think Wolves should try something different. It's not, not 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 so much a plan B, but something different up front to make defences think otherwise, because they have become slightly predictable in front of goal of late. Who will be the front three on Saturday? Me and Tim shall be at Molyneux for all the build-up on this one. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com. <laughs>